Hi, my name is Mylon Lefevre, and music is in my blood. I got my first big break when Elvis Presley recorded a song I'd written at 17 years old. That moment changed my life forever. I went from having nothing to having my dreams come true. I toured the world and played with some of the biggest names in music and had more money than I knew what to do with. I finally hit rock bottom when I almost died from a drug overdose, and it became painfully obvious something had to change. Everything did change when I gave my life to Jesus at a second chapter of Acts concert in 1980. God instantly delivered me from drugs and totally turned my life around. I began to use my gift of music for the Lord and started a Christian band, Mylon and Broken Heart. It eventually grew to be one of the biggest Christian rock bands in the world at the time. We won several Grammys and Dove Awards, but most importantly, we led over 200,000 kids to Christ. Now, years later, I'm still living for Jesus, and my wife, Christy, and I travel the globe proclaiming God's goodness. I've been from rock bottom to the mountaintop, and I'm going all the way to heaven, so come on and join me on the road to freedom. Welcome to On the Road to Freedom, and we are filming in beautiful Colorado today. These mountains are gorgeous. We had a Team Milan member allow us to use their home to mm. film this week, and we are so grateful for their generosity and, and their partnership with us and with the gospel. And for all you Team Milan members out there, thank you thank for you, your thank agreement. You. Thank you for your support in prayer, for your support in giving, and in all the ways that you help us go into all the world and preach and mm. teach and make disciples. Amen. And this show is one of the ways we do that. So today we just want to encourage you again in John 8, 31 and 32, where it says, Jesus said, if you will continue in my word, then you truly are my disciples yes. and you will know the truth and the truth will make you free. So the more that we continue in the Word of God, the freer we get. That's the title of this show, On the Road to Freedom. Now today, Mylon has something really special on his heart from you concerning an invitation from Jesus. You know, recent events have caused me to really think through the life of Billy Graham, one of the greatest mm -hmm. soul winners of all time. Yeah. What a precious man of God. I grew up in a different denomination from him, but I never heard anybody. I mean, the guy was just a solid man of integrity. He just, uh, he just lived yeah. what he preached and yeah. just a good man. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm just, I, I learned so much from him and I was so thankful for how his life counted, mm -hmm. how his life, oh, how good. he used his life. Yes. And, and he that's made so a good. choice to give it to Jesus, mm -hmm. not a little bit of it. I mean, he made great sacrifices. Mm -hmm. He just never quit. Yeah. He stayed 99 years and he led a lot of people to Jesus. People, man. That's right. And that spirit of the evangelist mm -hmm. is available in the earth right now and needs to continue on and will. Yeah forever. Yeah. Mm. But in order to do that, people like me and you got to be uh, talking about what it means to come to Jesus. What does it mean yeah. when Billy Graham would give those invitations in those big stadiums? And a lot of a lot of people who you see on TV who are ministers got born again at those very things. Mm. I know Jesse DePlantis got born again watching him on TV in a That's Boston right. hotel room. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's so many uh, powerful things that happen through that man's life. Mm -hmm. What is an invitation from Jesus? Well, let me just let me just break it down, make it as simple as I know how for you. Yeah. Jesus is given a come as you are party. <laughs> you don't have to yeah. get your act together to come to Jesus. Thank you, It'd be like taking a bath before you take a shower. Mm -hmm. You come to Jesus with your problems, with your life. Yeah. You come to Jesus, and in fact, the more that you come to him with, um, mm -hmm. you know, if, if you need healing, he'll be your healer. If you need finances, he'll be your pr provider. Yeah. If you need forgiveness, praise God, he's the merciful, kind, 
God, whose mercies are tender and fresh every day. Thank you. And God so loved the world that he gave Thank Jesus you. as a gift to you and me to fix the things that we can't fix. And that's God's personality and character. God he is a giver. Mm -hmm. He doesn't ever take. There is, a, there is a thief. The Bible calls him Satan. And he is a thief. He comes to steal and kill and destroy. But none of those things come from God. Yeah. Jesus came from heaven. And the Bible says when he came here, he came for this reason, that you would have life yeah. and life more yeah. abundantly. Yeah. But in yeah. order to do that, you got to trade your mm. old life for his. Mm. That's, that's what it means to receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior. He'll save you mm. out of the mess you're in. But in order to do that, you gotta, you got to give him your old life. In other words, give him control of what you control in the natural realm. I make choices. When I start making choices to trust him and obey him, then I have given him control. But not until then. Mm -hmm. Just praying, saying, take control, and then doing what I want to and ignoring his word is mm -hmm. not giving him control. Oh, that's good. Whatever yeah. you give him, if you give him your sin, mm -hmm. praise God, he'll fix that. If mm -hmm. you give him your marriage, he'll fix that. Of course, you both got to give it to him. Mm -hmm. You know, you both got a Christian and I yeah. uh, have learned the hard way, like everybody, every mm -hmm. marriage has to, that, that most marriages, when there's a problem, it's over control. Mm -hmm. yeah, I want it my way. She wants it her way. Who's going to end up with getting their way here? <laughs> but when the Holy Spirit's yeah. in control, yes. we got nothing to argue about. That's right. It solves the problem of who's gonna get their way because God gets his way and yeah. everybody's happy then, yeah, amen. amen. And that's, yeah. what, that's why they call what God gives you, if you give God control of your marriage, that we actually call that holy, holy matrimony. Yeah, amen. I've had unholy matrimony, believe me, this is better, mm -hmm. amen. <laughs> but in order for Christy and I to have holy matrimony, we have to give God, for instance, my temper. If I had anxiety, if I have yeah. the way that I used to handle things, obviously it's not mm -hmm. going to get better if I had them. How many of you know, and I know you understand, for mm -hmm. things to get better, something has to change. Yeah. And the Bible says God doesn't change. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. So if it's going to get better at my house, I got to change. If our marriage is going to get, get better, better, we got to change, yeah, which right. means she's mm -hmm. got to help me because some of these changes are not comfortable for me and I got to help her and, and I got to make it easy, years. not hard for her, Amen. if possible. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. To get holy matrimony. He'll help with the problems that we give him control of. Yes. If you give him, for instance, your financial situation, then you'll have to trust him enough to give him control over your financial situation. In other words, read the Bible and see what he said about how to handle your finances and they'll get better. Mm -hmm. If you do that, then you'll become a tither and you'll give of your first fruits. Those yeah. things that mm -hmm. the Bible says to do will start happening mm -hmm. and God will show you yeah. how wonderful mm -hmm. it is when you do things His way. You will be blessed. be blessed. Your finances will grow. Mm -hmm. You'll get a better job or you'll get a raise where you are. It's amazing what the Lord does. Debt cancellation, all kind of supernatural ways that God will will solve your problems. When we give him control of our marriage or our finances yeah. or our temper or right. our anxieties or whatever mm -hmm. it was, that's what it means to seek first the kingdom, kingdom. of God yeah, yeah. and his righteousness. Mm -hmm. In other words, that we get up every day and we make a determination what do I want to do today? Before I start thinking about making money or before I start thinking about all the things on my list of things to do, yeah. I, I try to start every day talking to the Lord and then I read his word so that he can talk to me. Yes. I let him yeah. know the stuff that I want. I want, I want the anointing. Mm -hmm. I want a fresh anointing. I need strength sometimes. It, uh, if anybody out there is 73, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> There's times when you need uh, extra energy. You need to wake up and be a little brighter. Right, if you got right. to do TV, you can't be as laid back as you were in some <laughs> other situations. Amen. Yeah. So if you seek first his kingdom and his right way of living, uh, he will, according to his word, add all these things, things yeah. unto you. Now, listen, let's don't just rush over that. This is so cool. 
If you give your life to Jesus, I mean your whole life, not just your problems, yeah. not just your sin. Obviously, we want to get rid of that. That'll take you to hell. We don't want to go to hell. And it's not God's will that any should perish. It's God's mm -hmm. will that all should have everlasting, everlasting life. life. But you have a choice, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. I mean, God's not going to make you live for him. He's not mm -hmm. going to make you be a Christian. He's not going to make you worship yeah. him. He's yeah. not going to make you read the Bible. Mm -hmm. If you want to lie and cheat and steal and right, shoot somebody, right. mm -hmm. God's not going to stop you and make you mm -hmm. go to church and do what's right. Yeah. He has given you a free will. Free will, yeah. And therefore, and he will not violate your will. If you worship him, it'll be because you want to. Mm -hmm. If you give him your life and trust him, it'll be because you made the choice yeah. to put God first and to receive his Holy Son into your life. In the book of Matthew, the 28th chapter and 18th verse, Jesus spoke to them saying, all authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Now that is the great commission of God. Yes. It's given to all of us who are disciples of Jesus Christ. If you're born again right. and you're a follower of Jesus Christ, then that is the call of God, the great commission for us to go in all the world. Of course, it's not just for everybody is not in the fivefold ministry, but the truth is everybody's called to do their part yes. in getting the word of God to the people. It is our choice to answer the call. That's right. And in the book of Isaiah, God said, who will go for us? Who can I send? And then the answer was, and I said, here am I, send me. Amen. So we're encouraging you today to take a moment and ask yourself, will you answer the call? Will you say, here am I, Amen. send me? And you can do that by joining Team Milan and helping us, sending us to go into all the world Amen. and teach and preach and make disciples through On the Road to Freedom. And you just contact us at mylan.org and click on Team Milan, and it's that simple to join today. And you ask the Lord what your part is. And he'll tell you what your part is. We'll do our part. God will do his part and it'll make a difference. We will change the world. Yes. One person at a time, just the way God changed my world and yours one at a time. God bless you, man, we love you. Romans 12 says it this way, and it's so important. It says, be not conformed to the world. How do we keep from being conformed to the world? Be transformed by the renewing of your minds. If I could tell you the secret, I mean, I don't know how to transform myself into a better husband, mm -hmm. a better brother. I right, want to right, be. I don't like to let my friends down. Mm -hmm. I don't like to, to be a bad father. My daughter's grown now, thank God, and her and her husband, Peter Furler, with, uh, who started the band, the Newsboys, you know, they've gone all over the world, they're in the ministry. I'm, I'm so proud of them, but there was a time I didn't know when she was a young girl and I was unsaved. I wasn't teaching her the right way to go. Mm -hmm. I had to start learning and I had to get my mind renewed, yeah. transformed by the renewing of your, your minds mind. in yeah. Christ Jesus. In other words, yeah. mm -hmm. God will put his super on your natural mm -hmm. as you read what he says yeah. and let him change the way you think. Mm -hmm. The truth will transform you. It will change you from the inside out as you give your life to Jesus, and I'm talking about your whole life. I'm talking about your hopes and dreams. That's Go ahead, right. my daughter. Well, you know, I love the way you explain this. You say God's Word is His DNA. God's Word, mm -hmm. I mean, it, that, it's what it's like. DNA, mm -hmm. If your parents' DNA, you know, if, if your mom was a blonde and you end up a blonde, it has mm -hmm. to do with uh, where you come from, uh, the, the culture, the tradition. Your DNA reproduces part of your parents' 
in mm -hmm. you. Yes, yes. But when you get the Word of God inside you, it reproduces Jesus. Yeah, that's it. Christ that's good. in mm -hmm. you, the hope, hope of glory. glory. That's so good, man. Oh, my goodness. Amen. Oh, my goodness, it's magnificent. Mm -hmm. He is the healer if you take your body to Him. Mm. He'll fix it if you give it to him. But notice that every time he does something magnificent, you got to give him something to work with. Yeah. You start treating your body the way he says to, like the temple of the Holy Spirit, which is what he said. When you get born again, and you invite Jesus into your heart. The Bible says he actually comes in. He comes by his spirit to dwell in you. Mm -hmm. You are a spirit. Mm -hmm. You live in a body. For now, it, when when you die and go to heaven, you'll get a new body, a heavenly body. I'm liking that one. I got some miles on this baby. <laughs> I'm getting a skinny one, by the way, when I get to heaven. You are a spirit. You live mm -hmm. in a body, and you have a soul, That's which is right. your mind, your will, will and emotion. your emotions, yeah. your intellect, your will, mm -hmm. and your emotions. Mm -hmm. And when God comes to live in that body with you by his spirit, that's what it says. It says your body becomes the temple of the Holy Spirit. God Almighty has decided if you'll ex receive him, he'll come live in you. Yeah. The one with all the power mm -hmm. that no foe can withstand. Yeah, the amen. living God amen. is not out there on a cloud behind those mountains. If you receive him into your life, if you receive the Son of God, Jesus, he then the Spirit of Jesus comes to dwell in you. Yeah. The Spirit of the Father of God, the Holy Spirit of the living God comes. And the one who has all the solutions is not out there somewhere where you got to beg him to listen, but he's right there at your house all yeah. day, every day. Amen. He goes to work when you do. If you get in a scary situation, you don't have to be scared because the living God is with you. If you're at the hospital, if you're in an, an accident, it looks like it's about to happen. He gives his angels charge over you Lord. to accompany you, Psalm 91 says, to protect you, to defend you, and to deliver you. Thank you, Lord. So that Thank with you. long life, oh man, mm. long life and many blessings, it says down at the end of the psalm, <laughs> I think it's verse 16, he said, with long life, I will mm -hmm. satisfy you and show you my salvation. my salvation. That means you don't have to live in fear that you're going to die young. You don't have to live with anxiety attacks and freaking out because there's some disease on that CNN. I mean, they keep coming up with new ones. It doesn't matter. It won't come near your tent. Only a spectator shall you be hidden in the secret place of the Most, the most High God high. Yeah. if you give your life to Jesus, mm -hmm. if you give your thoughts to Jesus, if you give your mind to Jesus, your will. If you mm -hmm. actually get to the point where you're willing to say, Father, not my will but thine be done. Mm. I mean, a lot of people say that. Yeah. And then when God tells them what he wants to do, what he wants them to do in his word, for mm. instance, forgive everybody who's forgiven you. They fuss about that one a little bit. But God didn't give us any choice. You can talk about how mean they were. Yeah, there's some mean people. They did some bad stuff to us. It wasn't right. People yeah. lied to us. Mm. They stole from us. They hurt us. They physically abused, they verbally and mentally abused. It doesn't matter. Jesus said, if you don't forgive them all of everything, my Father won't forgive okay. you. Yeah. So all we have to do is just forgive them. Mm -hmm. How do you do that? You know, let me tell you how to get rid of, if somebody's really hurt you and you're not sure what to do about it, here's what God said to do. And I read it in his word and I did it because I used to have some things, uh, some frustrations with my father, especially, I think it's honest to say. And I won't go into any detail, but I grew up angry mm -hmm. and rebellious. And then, of course, as a teen, I started using drugs, and it got worse and worse. Putting LSD into an angry young man is not, not going to help the situation. Yeah. And I was just uh, aggressive and violent sometimes and uh, just a redneck on top of all that. And when I came to Jesus, he started teaching me about forgiveness. I started talking to God and saying, okay, you said to forgive them, so I'm going to forgive them. But, you know, you need to do this and this and that, and they need, and, you know, you want them to come to you and say, you know what, I did wasn't right. 
it, it'd make it a whole lot easier to forgive them if they'd come and humble themselves and say, that really wasn't right, please forgive me. In the name of Jesus, I was wrong and I'll never do that again. Boy, that'd make it so much easier. Yeah. But they don't usually do those things and sometimes they're already gone. Mm -hmm. They've already passed. Mm. It's too late. So how can you forgive somebody that's really hurt you? Mm. You pray for those. Here's what the scripture says. Bless those who curse you. When you're new in the Lord, that's hard. It doesn't make sense. Mm. But it can be done because I've done it. Yeah. It says, bless those who curse you and pray, pray for, for those us. who spitefully use you. I mean, that's mean. Mm. But spite, being used by somebody, that's... Pray for them, not pray against them, pray for them. Pray for them. What? Pray what? That they'll be, what do you want done in your life? What, how, what kind of blessing do you want? Pray that over them. God have mercy on them. I, for, I choose to forgive them, Lord. You got to say it out loud. Yeah, if you don't feel right. it, that's okay. Because everything yeah. we do in this kingdom is by faith. By faith, amen. We use our faith and we say, Lord, I release this person of their yeah. debt to me, just like you have forgiven me. Lord, yeah, you, forgive so me. you forgave me for lying. You forgave me for, for manipulating people. Mm. You forgave me for saying, judging people and being proud and, mm. and doing all kind of horrible things. I was an adulterer. I was a, just a, a self-righteous, arrogant fool just going, taking whatever I wanted and, and trying my best to get whatever I wanted in life. And God forgave me and let me start over and cleansed me. Yeah. And all I have to do is give somebody else a chance like he did for me. Yes. Have mercy, say yeah, it out loud. I forgive right. them, everybody forgive of everything. Because now it's time to get your prayers answered. Yeah, I mean. Praise God. Mm -hmm. If you need healing in your body, he'll fix that. Mm -hmm. He said, if you continue in my word, just like Christy said, you will know you the will truth. Know the How truth. long do you have to yeah. continue until you get to heaven? Mm -hmm. You'll be needing to read the word every day. <laughs> In other words, you'll understand how to give your life to Jesus mm -hmm. as you continue in the Word of God. You'll understand how He wants you to live. Right. You'll start to understand how to use the Word of God. In other words, when to speak it and how to use it. And are there some trial and error? Yes. I'm going to be straight up with you. Trying to be a Christian and trying to follow Jesus, there's a lot of people telling you it's you do it this way, and one guy says, no, you don't, you do it this way. And you have to work out your own salvation. Mm -hmm. And you have to stay in your church. You have to receive your pastor as your pastor. Yeah, and you have, to, you have to find your place in the kingdom mm -hmm. and then put your roots down like a tree planted by the water and refuse to be moved by your emotions and by what other people do and say. And let your roots go deep so that you grow strong in the Lord Amen. and in the power Amen. of His might. Yeah, that's good. The truth, as you learn it, remember He said, be not conformed, be transformed by the renewing of your mind. What's happening is you read the Bible. You're learning to think like think Jesus. Think like God, yeah. You're learning to look at problems from the throne room where God sits instead of from down here where the situation and the chaos roams. Mm. You're able to look at life and realize, man, life is short. And if I do what's right in the sight of God, he'll not only bless me for it, he'll bless a whole lot of other people <laughs> by them learning to understand this information. Yeah. When you learn and understand how God wants you to live your life, then you'll also learn that obedience is much better than sacrifice. Mm. Just simply doing what God said, you mm. won't have to be begging God to fix the mess all the time. A lot of Christians feel guilty for the things they've done, and I know I, I, I totally get that. I have had to work through that. Uh, one of the things you'll have to do is forgive yourself. Mm. God will yeah. forgive you. That's good. And man, he'll never bring it up again. Whatever you've done, I don't care what you've done. If you ask Jesus to forgive you and come into your heart and you take responsibility, I mean, this is important. You're not going to repent of your sins if you think you hadn't done anything wrong. The Bible says we've all sinned and come short of the glory of God, and we've all sinned. Yeah. The first thing we need to do is humble ourselves under the mighty hand of God and admit, mm -hmm. Lord, I sinned. Yeah. And I take responsibility for what I've done. So if you're ready to come as you are, yeah, God's so going to start fixing everything Thank you, Lord. from the inside out. Yeah. I want you to 
trust God right now. If you've never done this before, and if you've already prayed and mm -hmm. asked God to forgive you, but you know you need to rededicate your life, then it's time to do that. There's no luck that we did this show this day and that you just happen to be working, watching. Yeah, this is it. a divine appointment divine. between me Thank and you and God. Mm -hmm. Will you give your Thank life you. to Jesus today? Mm -hmm. If so, I want you to pray this prayer with me, please. Mm -hmm. Father God, Father God, I come to you. I come to you in the holy name of Jesus. In the holy name of Jesus, and Father, I take responsibility. And Father, I take responsibility for my sins. For my sins. For my mistakes. For my mistakes. And I ask you to forgive me. And I ask you to forgive me. And God, I ask you to fill me with your Holy Spirit. And God, I ask you to fill me with your Holy Spirit. Help me to to understand your word. Help me to understand your word. Give me a love for your word. Give me a love for your word. And show me, Lord. And show me, Lord. How to live it. How to live it. How to walk it out in the earth. How to walk it out in the earth. How to do these things that please you, sir. How to do these things that please you, sir. I give you my life today. I give you my life today. Withholding nothing. Withholding nothing. Father, I'm yours to command. Father, I'm yours to command. Have your way in me, please. Have your way in me, please. And I will serve you. And I will serve with you. With all my heart. With all my heart. Until I see you. Until I see you. Face to face. Face to face. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. If you prayed that prayer and you believe it in your heart, you just got born again. Yeah, you hallelujah. you never prayed it before. <laughs> the angels of God are rejoicing, That's the right. Bible says, right now. If you rededicated your life, there's no shame to that. I've had to do that many, many times. Mm -hmm. But there will come a day when you never have to do it again. Right. When you actually mm -hmm. realize, praise God. Mm -hmm. I, I, God gave me a song when I was 17 called Without Him. And, and the word said, without him, I could do nothing. And that's true. But God spoke to me one day many years later and said, now, son, you'll never be without me again. Mm. It's good. You can do all, all things, things through Christ who strengthens you, and you're going to start to see that in your life. Man, I'm so thankful. Mm -hmm. I'm so honored that you uh, allowed us to come into your home today and explain to you what it means when Jesus has a come as you are party. <laughs> we love Amen. you. We're praying for you. We don't yeah. know your name. You know that. We don't know everybody, but especially you team members, you team Milan members that prayed for us today and who mm -hmm. uh, sent in the support to, to pay for being able to film this show and put yeah. it on the air. God mm -hmm. bless you. We love yeah. all you guys. We're praying yes, for you every we day. You. We'll mm -hmm. see you next week. Tell your friends to join with us right here on, on the, the Road, Road to, to Freedom. Freedom.